curious. I'm curious about what's happening in the world. I want to see new things. I want to discover new knowledge. I'm intrigued by it. I would say I'm a lateral thinker. I like to think not just within my box, but beyond my box and rethink the box in space from time to time to look at things from different perspectives probably comes with my curiosity. And then I'd say I'm a team player. I like to do things in a team together with people rather than just on my own behind my desk. My professional choices were quite non-linear in a sense. And they have reflected the curiosity with which I have gone about life. I did classical languages at high school. I spent a bit of time uh, in foreign countries learning languages, came back to study natural sciences, biotechnology at ETH, because I thought that's the only time in life when you can do something like that. During this time, I started to learn the value of money and engaged in banking for the first time went into consulting, which was the broadest thing that one could do, and finally centered in on banking at Julius Baer. And I think even my curriculum at Julius Baer allowed me to see the world through different lenses. This has been sort of the fil rouge that went through my entire professional life. I try to take everything with me when I go and see clients. I try to obviously take my background, my curiosity and my hopefully some insights into the world or many questions I have about what might be. I try to take in what I've learned in the last discussion with clients or with external stakeholders and I always find it intriguing if I have the opportunity to connect clients and minds and to bring ideas together. And I also try to take my humor and my personality into the meeting as uh, we're also humans after all. And it's as much about making a human connection than just discussing about content. Julius Baer in the last 130 years has always had that strong core of being an outstanding wealth manager. The key role is to help our clients grow, to help our clients preserve and pass on wealth. That's the core role of Julius Baer towards our clients. But, and that's a huge but, with our purpose, creating value beyond wealth, we have set the stage to enhance these circles in a concentric manner, to look into clients' families and to help them thrive, to help clients look into the world, into the future and understand what is happening. And for us as a company, not just to focus on our clients and not our employees, but also on the society in which we live and to give back. And that is really what Julius Baer is all about. We set out three priorities at the beginning of 2020, shift to sustainable profit growth, sharpen our focus and truly know what we want to stand for with clients and accelerate investments. And we've done all the three next to managing a pandemic and being very close to clients in uh, 2020. Obviously, this is going to keep us busy for the next 18 months. And as we further develop our strategic steps towards our long-term vision, which is very much influenced by our purpose, creating value beyond wealth. But I think what we do right now provides a very good basis and a very good stepping stone for everything that is yet to come. I've grown maybe even more proud of Julius Baer in the last year than before. I think I first want to start with our people and just how great they are, how great they've been operating under difficult circumstances, adding to the overall resilience of Julius Baer. I think we've been a very resilient firm throughout this crisis. We've proven that our risk management approach, our practices, our parameters were right. But we've also shown our ability to multitask, to have a broad bandwidth, to run transformation next to crisis management and next to very close attention to detail for our clients. And I believe it's these things that we have discovered as a company, as a collective, that we will carry into the future. We'll take some of this flexibility, we'll take some of this bandwidth, we'll take a lot of this resilience into the future, maybe together with a few new work practices and with new digital tools that enable us to add value also in the next 10 years. I have 
the opportunity not ha having to reflect too much about what's happening as my life is happening at a relatively high speed anyway. This said, I think I have a degree of resilience myself. I take any new situation as it comes and rather try to see the opportunity than the challenge. I try to take my breaks and a few conscious hours off uh, during the day and during the week so that I can recharge my batteries and have the energy to, to start again uh, the other morning. But then it's also easy to do this when you do things with joy and with passion. Uh, the boundary between work and private life can be quite blurred like that. You would find a Spotify playlist. You would, I like Spotify, but I love Tidal. So you would find a Tidal play, playlist. On this, you'd find right now the current Mahler Zyklus of the Berliner Philharmonica which is uh, uh, lovely to listen and a great experience to dive into. You find a few classics like the Köln concert of Keith Jarrett, which I've just been listening to recently. And then you'd find a long list of things actually with no names that my 15 year old daughter has put on, but that keeps me perfectly in tune with what is listened to today. <laughs>